Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back. My name is Aubrey Potato. We are continuing in Democracy 3 and my oh my, we are doing amazing. Just look at how popular we are. 73.8% of, uh, of, the, of the people would vote for us. That's fantastic. That's amazing. That's really, really good. I mean, if you look at the last sort of four or five turns, we've really, really increased our vote. And uh, and that's really important. Now, let's have a look at alcohol abuse. That is still way too high, and uh, I'm not very happy with that. So I have an idea of how we are going to stop that. And that idea, ladies and gentlemen, is community policing. 56% of the electorate would, uh, would like to employ it, and so that's pretty good. Liberals really like it. It's going to really take down alcohol abuse. Racial tension is going to decrease. Violent crime is going to decrease. And um, just crime overall is going to increase. And I and I think it's a really good way. Very efficient as well. So we're only spending two billion on this, and uh, and and what we're getting back is is really very very worth it. And um, conservatives are liking us a little bit more. Liberals are still not too keen on us, but you know, hey ho, you can't please everybody. Retired folk really really like us. If we look at our uh, if we look at our main expenditures, we've really got um, healthcare, schooling, rail subsidies. Rail subsidies are pretty big, and um, you know after that we've sort of got a lot of little things. Let's in fact let's go and have a look at intelligence uh, services. Yeah, okay, so so that's pretty good. Um, intelligence services are always are always good to have full on. And that's what we'd like to see. Most of our expenditure is either going towards state pensions or. Uh, or state health service, which is, you know, I'm okay with both. I think both of them are uh, are uh, are very worthwhile investments, and I don't think we should decrease funding to either of them. Um, university grants, university grants. Wow, I did not know we had this in place. This is good. This is really good. Poor earnings parents. What? This is a fantastic policy. Can we bump this up? We're going to do that. I'm, wow. Cancel. No, we're not going to change anything at the moment. But wow, that is good. As soon as we have the money to do that. We sort of do have the money at the moment uh, to implement that. But we're not going to do it until next turn. Um, so that's that's something that we can consider. Rent controls. Yeah, we tried to do that last episode. Didn't really go too well. And we're, uh, we're not going to talk about it. We're, that's just going just gonna to go away. Small business grants could cost us 10.52 billion. Uh, that's not something we really need to look at at the moment. What about home fabrication grants? Yeah, that could uh, that could be all right. Anything else that you think we could do? Young entrepreneur scheme, sixty-two to two hundred fifty-one million. That's you know that's just that's dirt cheap. That's great. I I am very happy to fund that. Socialists will like us a little bit less. However, I think it's a good thing. I think it's a really good thing. What's this? Technology colleges. Technology colleges. Why do socialists not like this? I don't understand. State employees. This is a uh, this is quite a good thing to invest in, I think. Education, technology. Mm, we'll see. We'll see. Um, we're doing pretty well actually, and you know we have a lot of political capital to spare. Is this finally over? No. Delay twenty four. That take. That's a long ass time. That is a long ass time. What about road building? That's now at an all time low. That's fine. I'm good. I'm. I'm perfectly happy to see that remain there. Um. What else? Well, we've got sixteen capital to play around with, or sixteen political capital to play around with. So we've got a lot of stuff that we can do. Um, perhaps we should just save our money rather than investing it in sort of a big, big project. New car subsidies. We don't really want to do that. Um, close airports immediately. N why? Why would we do that? Satellite road pricing. No, we're, we don't want to do that either. Um, police drones. Liberals will not like us. Hmm. The death penalty. People are in favor of that? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. 
compulsory church attendance? No, there's no torture use by secret service? Wow. Okay, well, uh, interesting. Youth politics council, free parenting classes. Anybody keen on anything in here? Anything that we can sort of, you know, sort of fund a little bit? It's going to cost 1.8 billion. That's a lot of money. People seem to like subsidies, don't they? Um, no wonder, eh? Um, we're not gonna, we're not gonna do much about it. We're just gonna let our 16 political capital. We're gonna save it. And um, what's our max that we can get actually? Maximum 54. Um, we're gonna save it, as I've said, because uh, there's nothing we really need to spend it on at the moment. Tax. Yeah, you're liberal. Yeah, that, I I remember having reservations about employing you in the first place. So just you, just you keep your end of the bargain, matey. Okay, what we really, really, really want to work on is uh, is alcohol abuse. We need to get that down. It's costing us a lot of money. It is costing us a lot of money. Do we have any bad situations developing? I don't really think we we do. Everything seems to be running pretty smoothly. I. I I don't know. I th I think everything's going, you know, all right. Um. Yeah, GDP. GDP is increasing slowly but surely. Productivity is looking good. Oil prices is, is looking pretty good. International trade is actually, well, it has gone up a bit. Uh, wait, 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 wait. How did foreign relations go down? Uh, let's go back to that. Where was that? International trade, foreign relations, CO2 emissions. Carbon tax. We have. Uh, we need to decrease our CO2 emissions, and that's uh, that's something that the environmentalists will like us for as well. CO2 emissions. That's going up a little bit. Hmm. There's a lot of things that we can do about CO2 emissions. We're gonna. Uh, we're gonna. Uh, see if we energy efficiency. Science funding. Oh, it's a it's a vicious circle. As soon as we start getting involved in science funding, let's go to the next turn. Let's see what's uh let's see what's happening. Hopefully, we're running a surplus unless the uh, the economy sinks. Okay, GDP is up, unemployment is down. That's great. Crime is very very low. Poverty is very very low. Um, health is very very good, and so is education. Finishing quotas. Uh, reject quotas. Yeah. 9.78 budget surplus. That's really, really good. We're in a very good position. Criticizing government policy on the radio. Nobody seems to hate us. We seem to have sort of stabilized, which is a position that I am very, very happy to be in. Alcohol abuse coming down. How long does it take community policing to take effect? Five turns. That's good. That is good. Uh, the asthma epidemic, the environment. Okay, we need to sort out the environment. The environment is going down. Car usage needs to decrease. Needs to decrease a lot. Recycling. Can we invest in recycling anymore? Yeah, let's bump it up. It's going to cost us double, but it'll be worth it, I think. Uh, I think in the long run, definitely it will be. Fusion research. You're wary of atomic energy. Well, hmm. There's a, there's a lot of things we can do. We have a lot of political capital to play with. Consumer rights. Maternity leave. We don't really want to do that. That's going to decrease productivity a little bit. That's not what we like. Space program. That's something that we can pour money into once uh, once we have the money to, to pour into it, I suppose. Um tax? Do we really want to tax something? School credits and health tax credits. I'm sure that'll take poverty down a little bit, but I'm not sure if uh, if capitalists will like it. Hmm. Private healthcare. Yeah, that's that's some, you know, private healthcare, that's something that we, we want to probably try and encourage. Um... But it's not really something that I'm too keen on at the moment. Art subsidies. It's pretty popular. Free parenting classes. 
Nah, nothing, nobody really seems to have an appetite for anything. Secret courts. Media censorship. Banning divorce. Wow, that's not an... That's not a massively unpopular policy. That's surprising. Electronic direct democracy. What? What? Well, that's uh, that's interesting, but it's not going to happen. Anything that's popular here: driverless car laws. Manufacturers are in are encouraging the government to allow their use on public roads. Hmm. Could do actually. Could do. Bus subsidies. Car emission limits. Um, I think we're actually going to introduce this. Decrease motorists. Decrease car usage. Overall, this is exactly what we want. We want the environment and uh, environmentalists to be happy with us. So we're going to do that. Nice. I'm very, very, very happy with the way that this is going. Um, and I know we are we are playing through slowly, but the position that we're in is uh, is one to be envied, I feel. That's going up. We don't want that to be going up. We want, we for sure want the environment to be increasing, not getting good, not getting better. GDP, oil price, oil is uh, oil demand. We need to sink oil demand down. Is this starting to come down yet? Real subsidies are starting to bite into it. Hopefully, we just need this to be finally done at last um, that looks like maybe a couple of turns away and we'll be there asthma epidemic we don't look like don't look like we're gonna get there anytime soon parents don't like us of course because we're giving their kids asthma or something I don't know homelessness homelessness is coming down Wow unemployment how can we how can we get unemployment up Unemployment is, is falling. So that's good. That is good. GDP. I have no idea why GDP sort of... I, I, I don't know. I don't know why, it, why GDP sort of seems to impact unemployment. Unemployment benefit? Is there anything that we can... Um, this is quite popular with uh, with people. Capitalists don't like it, though. Hmm. This will increase. This will increase unemployment, but it will decrease homelessness. Is there any way we can? Unemployment benefit is there? Is there a sort of rent controls? Yes, I suppose. But perhaps state housing. We could increase state housing. But that'll that'll make private housing people annoyed with us. And you know, besides, this is just a slippery slope. This is a lot of money that we can you know sort of stick into something. Capitalists won't like us, but you know, private housing will will go down the gutter, um, and that's that's twenty billion that we would be investing in our houses, which is good, right? But something that we can consider later on, perhaps. And um, let's go to the next turn. Let's see what's happening. See what's a happening. Market meltdown. Oh, great! Not good. GDP is down. And the global economy just jumped off a cliff. Fantastic. What else was there here? 67% of the electorate are liking us. That's good. 14.78 billion. And we could consider dropping taxes. Well, actually, it's funny you should say that. Because uh, we're not exactly going to reduce taxes. But we are going to try and... Uh, try and reduce private housing not private housing um 
Oh, I don't know. The size of the private housing sector. Private housing will respond naturally to supply and demand, but can be artificially deflated. See, I don't want to sort of chain the uh, chain the private sector by increasing state housing. If we increase investment in state housing, then in you know private housing is is going to go down, and that's that's not what we want. Ah, uh, it's uh, it's it's a tough one. Homelessness is going down though, so that's good. Private housing is is doing the most is doing most of that. Unemployment is decreasing homelessness as well. State housing is helping. Okay, that's good. And as soon as we get rid of, as soon as we, t we need to try and obviously get rid of all these red markers around because these are all warning lights. Alcohol abuse, we're going to get there. Rail subsidies, we are eventually going to finish the investment in our rail network, which is fine, you know. Asthma epidemic is a bit more of an interesting issue. We need to improve the environment and that's going to take five turns to implement so that's going to be uh, it's going to be a while before we can sort of start sorting out that problem but for now we're going to call it there um ladies and gentlemen my name has been Orbit potato if you enjoyed them please like and subscribe thanks for watching and i will see you next time bye